A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Thus says the Lord, on that day I will raise up the fallen heart of David. I will wall up its breaches, raise up its ruins, and rebuild it as in the days of old, that they may conquer what is left of Edom, and all the nations shall bear my name. Say, I the Lord, and all the nations shall bear my name. Say I, the Lord, who will do this? Yes, days are coming, says the Lord, when the plowman shall overtake the reaper and the vintager him who sows the seed. The juice of grapes shall drip down the mountains, and all the hills shall run with it. I will bring about the restoration of my people Israel. They shall rebuild and inhabit their ruined cities, plant the vineyards and drink the wine, set out gardens and eat the fruits. I will plant them upon their own ground. Never again shall they be plucked from the land I have given them. Say I, the Lord your God. Responsorial Psalm, the Lord speaks of peace to his people. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. The Lord speaks of peace to his people. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered them, Can the wedding guests mourn as, as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one patches an old clock with a piece of unshrinking cloth, for its fullness pulls away from the clock, and the tear gets worse. People do not put new wine into old wine skins, otherwise the skins burst. The wine spills out, and the skins are ruined. Rather, they pour new wine into fresh wine skins, and both are preserved. The disciples of John the Baptist were upset with Jesus' disciples because they did not fast. Fasting was one of the three most important religious duties, along with prayer and almsgiving. Jesus gave a simple explanation. There's a time for fasting and a time for feasting. To walk as a disciple of Jesus is to experience the whole new joy of relationship akin to the joy of the wedding party in celebrating with the groom and bride their wedding bliss. But there also comes a time when the Lord's disciples must bear the cross of affliction and purification. For the disciple, there is both a time for rejoicing in the Lord's presence and celebrating His goodness and a time for seeking the Lord with humility and fasting and for mourning over sin. Jesus goes on to warn his disciples about the problem of the closed mind that refuses to learn new things.
Jesus used an image familiar to his audience, new and old wineskins. In Jesus' times, wine was stored in wineskins, not bottles. New wine poured into skins was still fermenting. The gases exerted gave pressure. New wineskins were elastic enough to take the pressure, but old wineskins easily burst because they had become hard and had lost their ability to expand and stretch. What did Jesus mean by this comparison? Are we to reject the old in place of the new? Just as there is a right place and a right time for fasting and for feasting, so there is a right place for the old as well as the new. Jesus says, The kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. He wants our minds and hearts to be like new wineskins, open and ready to receive the new wine of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, fill me with your Holy Spirit that I may grow in the knowledge of your great love and truth. Help me to seek you earnestly in prayer and fasting that I may turn away from sin and willfulness and conform my life more fully to your will. May I always find joy in knowing, loving, and serving you. Amen.